I think it, it's obvious. We just struggled offensively. Um, you know, there were so many things uh, we battled. You know, 21 offensive rebounds. Um, yeah, we uh, again held a very good team to shoot 37 percent. I think they were maybe 20 points under their average. Um, their scoring average defensively. I don't know if we could have asked for any more from our, from our team, but just offensively, we just so out of sync and just couldn't get anybody to step up and and uh, want to score and. You know, it was just frustrating. I think the frustration really got to us. And as you know, it felt like we, we cut it with uh, that second half. We, we cut it down a little bit and we kind of cut into their lead. And you know, it felt like it's time for us to make a move. And we just didn't have anybody to take, take the ball by the horns and take that lead. So, um, you know, just a, just a really, really tough um, offensive night, probably the worst of the year. And uh, I guess, uh, and then, like I said, I know it's a tough uh, contest uh, for y'all. Uh, you, you, you certainly, uh, y'all were, uh, you know, were kind of battling for most for most of the first half. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me about just uh, staying uh, staying in there for, uh, you know, for like say for the first half and then a little bit into the second here before they pulled away. Well, it, you know, it's just, I mean, overall, it's it's really hard to stay in it when you can't make shots. I mean, I think we were shooting. I'm looking at 20% in the first half and 29% uh, in the second half. So, I mean. We battled defensively. We were out rebounding. Um, I think in half, um, you know, we, we were doing everything we needed to do. We didn't make free throws first half, and we um, we just couldn't make some shots. So we felt like coming out in the second half, if we could just kind of get our offense going, um, that was going to be key. But we just we had open shots, just couldn't hit them. And uh, I guess uh, Tierra, uh, just uh, you know, talk a little, you know, talk a little bit about trying to you know, to, to guess, get you know, get stuff moving offensively and uh, you know and playing again because I, I noticed they're kind of a physical squad as well. I believe our effort was there we just couldn't quite get over the hump. We couldn't completely gain control of the momentum. We couldn't like Cook said we couldn't hit the shot. We, we were hitting the first shot but it's like we couldn't make that next shot to really help us gain control. I just think that just um, we'll learn from this and we'll be, get better. And I guess uh, it, it, um, you know with uh, certainly with East Carolina coming up here and uh, on a uh, short turnaround here, um, what 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 are the challenges the uh, Pirates uh, present uh, present to y'all this year? Well, we know them. I mean, we know their team. I mean, we know they're a very physical team. Um, they're defensive oriented. You know, for us, it's really not about East Carolina. It's about us just you know kind of finding ourselves again. And you know, we've had some really good games. You know, this game that define us. We just got to get back tomorrow and. You know, tweak some things and then um, just play two lane basketball in East Carolina. We just didn't do that today. With this being uh, with South Florida being one of the better teams in the conference, what was kind of the feeling going into the into the game today? I think we were excited to play. Um, you know, we had a really good shoot around today. I think the, the team was really up for it and really excited. I, I think South Florida's a really good team. I, I like the way they play. I think they're you know, they're very. I mean, they've got some dominant players, but they also have some players that, that really play important roles for them. So I think the team was really ready to go. We just, you know, kind of hit a little slump and couldn't, didn't have time to get out. And then for the players, what do you feel like you take away from uh, this game, knowing that South Florida is they're one of the better teams in the league? <laughs> I think it gives us um, a lot of confidence in our defense. To be able to hold such a, a high power offensive team to 20 points below the average, and that's, that's one of the good things we can take away from it. It's just that we Got to continue working on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, this being three games now into conference play, you guys are done with your non-conference. How did you feel you did in non-conference? Did you, did you achieve what, what you wanted to as far as the kinds of wins and losses that, that you hoped for? I, I thought we did a good job. I, I thought not, our non-conference schedule was very tough, um, and uh, just being able to, to take on a lot of those teams in different different venues, I thought we did played really well, especially going. You know, going into the conference play, I thought we were playing very good basketball. And again, even playing against Houston last week, I thought we were really clicking. So, you know, I, I think it was just a, it was just a really good night for us. So before the season, uh, you and some players talked about just uh, you know, putting yourself in position when you get in the league play to have some good things behind you and maybe you know, build a, a resume that could get you in the NCAA tournament or something like that. I think non-conference-wise, we have done that. I think that we've built a really good resume. South Florida, actually, we were talking before the game that both of our teams have really put ourselves in a good position non-conference-wise. But, uh, you know, it's, it's really about the uh, 15 games we have left right here and what we can do with those. And, you know, we're excited to be a part of a league this, this competitive. And, um, you know, it's, you're going to go out nights like this and, and have a tough time. But the nice thing is, 
you get some people back. Last year, we, we sometimes we only got one a team once, so now we're going to be able to play people twice, and that probably comes across with a little more of a, a true separation. Oh.